Today, we're going to talk about Section 508 of the Rehabilitation Act and how it applies to PDF accessibility. Welcome to the Accessibility Guide channel. My name is Sean Jordison, and I'm stoked to talk to you today about this important subject. In my field of work, I often get asked, why is it that we need to make our content accessible? Well, the quickest and fastest answer is that in a lot of situations, it is required by law. Specifically, Section 508 of the Rehabilitation Act is a critical piece of legislation that requires federal agencies to make their electronic and information technology accessible to people with disabilities. This is not just a matter of legal compliance, but a commitment to inclusivity, enabling everyone to participate and ensuring equal access. Now, Section 508 doesn't apply to everyone, but there are other laws that protect people with disabilities like the ADA or Section 504. Additionally, it depends on what state you're in. Here in California, there are a lot of laws that protect individuals with disabilities. And if you are a business in California, it is important to take these first steps to make sure that you become compliant. So why exactly is Section 508 so important? Imagine being unable to access vital information, interact with services, or perform your job simply because a website or a document is not accessible to you. That's the reality for many people with disabilities. And Section 508 helps address these issues. Section 508 covers a wide range of technology, including hardware, software, multimedia, and telecommunications. It mandates that these technologies must be accessible, whether they are used by federal employees or members of the public. It specifically covers any documents that are posted to the web, which can include PDF, PowerPoint, Microsoft Word documents, Excel files, HTML, and even other types. PDF accessibility is crucial as it allows users with disabilities to interact with the document using assistive technologies. An accessible PDF has features like text that can be read aloud by screen readers, the ability to navigate using a keyboard, and alternate text for images. That's just a short list of things. I actually cover a lot more of PDF accessibility on my website and throughout additional playlists on my YouTube channel, which I'll link below. So how does Section 508 influence PDF accessibility specifically? While well, Section 508 plays a crucial role in PDF accessibility, under this law, all PDF documents created, used, or distributed by federal agencies must be accessible. This includes PDFs available on federal websites and those used internally too. Some real world applications include things like the PDF forms for tax filing from the IRS, pretty much any government website, federal employment applications, online training materials, and even many public schools. Despite the clear guidelines, implementing Section 508 in PDFs can be a significant barrier for organizations. The complexity of making a PDF fully accessible can be daunting, particularly for large documents or those with numerous images and tables. Common challenges include issues with untagged PDFs, improperly labeled form fields, and images without alternate text. Solutions can include using the accessibility tools built into Adobe Acrobat and leveraging third-party services that specialize in PDF remediation. And I think that's where I come in. As your personal accessibility expert, I can help you with your document remediation or accessible services that you may want to implement into your organization. So check out the link below for more information on how to get in touch with me, and I'd love to help you get accessible.